Good morning. I wanted to go over the instructions for the As the Crow Flies lab. So this video will cover everything that you need to do in order to turn this in and get a perfect grid. So eventually um, you will get some data for the lab. I'm, I made myself some easy numbers, but you're, you're going to get something like this. And then um, you are going to need to find the displacement from where you start versus where you end, um, assuming that you follow this path. And we're going to do this in two different ways. The first way we're going to do this is going to be with a scale model and then a answer that is measured. So in this scenario, you're going to take a piece of graph paper and it needs to be a piece of graph paper. Um, you are going to have some type of a scale. You know, so you're going to write something you know, like one box equals five steps or one box equals 10 steps, some type of a scaling factor that I'm going to draw a, um, I'm going to draw these vectors um, to scale. Got a little, I'll draw a compass, why not? Just so we all agree on directions. So I'm going to start somewhere. I'm going to go north, followed by west, followed by south, followed once again by west. And all obviously you're going to do that a little cleaner because you're actually going to measure it and do it to scale. But it's going to be something like that. And then um, you want to draw your displacement vector. Please draw this in a separate color. So the displacement vector is going to go from the start to the end in a manner like so. And then you need to use a ruler and a protractor and I will send you a link to a website that will let, basically it's an online protractor. Use a ruler and a protractor to find the length of that vector as well as probably that angle and then please define the direction in a classroom approved manner and then you know just write write your answer and put it in a box. That is the first method that is the scale model method. Um, the next method that we are going to do is involves finding the total displacements and then solving for that display displacement using trigonometry as well as the Pythagorean theorem. First thing you need to do is find your totals. So I basically want to look at what's going on in the north-south direction, look at what's going on in the east-west direction, and combine them. So in this scenario, 15 steps north and 5 steps south, 15 steps north and 5 steps south are going to combine to be 10 steps north, right? Because the north goes up, the south goes down, the south actually takes away from the north. So 15 north plus 5 south is going to be 10 steps north. And then adding the westerly displacements, because those are both the same direction, those are actually going to add. So we have 20 steps west. So now I have these um, on another sheet of paper. Um, you can use the back of the graph paper if you want. If you want to use regular white paper, that's also fine. Um, you are going to just draw something that represents, you know, 10 steps north. And then we're going to have something that represents 20 steps west. And then we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did earlier. We will then draw our final displacement vector. And then we can use trigonometry as well as the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this vector as well as the angle. And please, please, please define that angle in a classroom-approved manner. Um, once you have both answers, you can submit. 